Hey everyone, welcome back to more StarCraft Free War. We're on Assault on Core Hall. Ooh. Captain, once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the side disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion throne world. Alexei, fill the captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Coral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Coral's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. Catch, Admiral, is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Minsk has no good function against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustcraft. If those silos were destroyed, we will believe that Minsk would lose its core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Minsk employs multiple battle cruisers for its planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Minsk will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Minsk's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against August Grad. All right, so we have a choice between the physics lab or the nuclear silo. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, I will say, I almost always go for the um the nuclear silos just because i don't like fighting nukes however i'm aware that i almost always do this so part of me is inclined to think that maybe for a change of pace we should go for the physics labs this time which you know the thought of doing that doesn't necessarily excite me that much but it might be good for some variety you know push myself out of my comfort zone and see just like how nasty that mission is because in general like i don't like dealing go, with sir. quote things right and this is true for most games uh i just i just don't find that very fun whereas um battle cruise is all you need to do is like go, get some goliaths get the charm boosters and like you're already going mech anyway so it's not really that big of a deal whereas the ghosts if you're not lucky and the ghost can really ruin your day but that might be like more reason to go for it because people will be like, oh, this is hilarious. I like that you just got like absolutely toasted because of um you were paying attention. So, uh, and it might not be that bad. I suspect it won't be. And before I have to remember, I was saying like, oh yeah, like these missions are a challenge. It's like, okay. Well, if you truly feel that way, like, why not put your money where your mouth is and then go for the mission where you have to deal with the nukes. So, now that I've walked myself through this, I don't know why I built the supply depot. It seems pretty clear to me, like, this is what I have to do. We're going to hotkey you. All right. That's just a base. Transmit Let's move. I'm not liking this. Commander. At all that ooh, Go ahead, Commander. That blue chunks. First order of business is to siege mode right away. So that next time that happens, we uh, have a way to deal with it. And let's get some vultures for scouting. Don't need this barracks anymore, so we're going to lift it up for space. Okay. 
Oh, these are the physics labs. Boy, I feel dumb. So that's where we're gonna need to go. Oh, and our vultures are slow, man. What is happening? Buy ourselves another tank. All right. This here is the priority target. Great. So work towards that. Um, and that should be pretty straightforward. Cause I think the nuclear silos are like here. But again, we're not gonna destroy them. It'd be nice if we could destroy both. But I really like how this mission gives you a choice for what you want to do. And that's cool to see, cause beforehand, like you just um, you didn't have that kind of choice. Which I mean, that makes sense for like these old school RTS games. But like, I really like it when games do give you meaningful choice. Which, I feel like that's like one of those like cliche buzzwords, it's like, yeah, like... Or like you'd see it like on the bottom of the box, it's like, our games give you meaningful choice, and it's like, great. Cool, I'm so glad. We need some missile turrets just so we don't, um, run from Wraiths. Man, tanks just trivialize so much. And, but like what I mean is like what happens in this mission like directly affects what's gonna happen in the mission after this which for me like that's very cool um, uh, let's get spider mines and then we will start working towards large speed can we put the guy in gas does that even make sense uh, and like in um Starcraft 2, one of the, that's one of the reasons why I like the campaign so much is because, you know, you make choices in there that affect what's going to happen in the next mission. And when I say choice, like, I don't mean, like, oh, like, you can get upgrades. Like, so, for example, like, I'm going to choose to go uh, mech in this game, but that's not really going to have... We're going to actually buy like, kind of the command sensor right now so that we can expand the first base we see. We're going to scale up my CV as well. Alrighty then, so much for that idea. Research complete. Place a mine here, place a mine here, place a mine here. Um, what I mean like by choice, like what I really like is once I've made a choice here where like say I choose to destroy the physics labs, I'm locked into that. There's no, like, oh, like, you can go back and destroy both of them and get the different missions. Like, no, 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 no. Like, once I do this, that's it. Like, that's, um, that's all she wrote, really. We need to get another factory, and we need to actually get a, um, some armories as well. Your forces are under attack. We do need more tanks for base defenses. The one problem being in the middle of the map is that we can get attacked from all angles. Like, from its strategic position, this sucks. That's not good. I'm actually fine to kill the raids. Like, I really don't care. Well, this is a... Okay, we did it. Um... Like, look how many different... Oh my goodness, he's throwing ghosts at us. Dude, I'm starting to have second doubts about... Going for the ghosts. Oh well, such is life. Okay. Cool. Um... 
trying to some workers. Because I feel like the lockdown, especially if going to Mechanics, like, that's going to be... Ooh, that's going to be difficult. What was that all about? Man, look they tanks with free coverage. Like, look how many different angles I just have to, like, go in order just to, like, protect everything, make sure they don't, it doesn't die. And let us get our armories. We're gonna need that to go mech. Like, this is, like, actually insane. That's right, though. I mean, it's fun. Like, I'm not, like, too troubled by this, either. It's not like, oh, no, we're gonna die. It's like, well, no, like, we're gonna be absolutely fine. Like... We're gonna have more than enough supply to like defend everything and then continue on and win the mission. Um, it just it means you know, we have to have like this many tanks, and I think that's like how we're gonna have to deal with the ghosts or you know scan and then have. Um, Ball's just pick him off. Like, yeah, that'll be interesting. I mean, we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, cool. All right, we do have the Charm boosters. Great news. Um, and then we'd like to eventually get Goliath. Oh, is that just like a tank covered in cyan? I have no idea what that is. That looks like a Goliath, I think. Crazy. I like how it's like it's just like this desolate wasteland of Terran units from these two dads. I guess Grim and Ominous is like, um... You definitely don't see that in StarCraft 2. Like, I would definitely say... At least in my opinion, like, without a shadow of a doubt, that... StarCraft 2 is a darker game than... Um... Not enough minerals. Starcraft 1. Sorry, did I see 2 darker than 1? I meant the other way around. My mistake. Dude, what is up with this? We are needing more... Um... Cass, this is insane! And we also need a place to put more... Supply depot, so I guess we'll start building up here. Okay, here, we're gonna send some tanks here. Like, I know we're playing very defensive right Oh, we need science facility. Ugh. We're playing very defensively right now. Um, but once we get the ball rolling, we're fine. And this is why we are playing defensively. Oh man, these goals. See, I, I'm seriously getting second down now. As I'm seeing all of these. Like, the bow cruisers would be so easy to deal with, but. I mean, like, we don't do things because they're easy, but because they're hard. Science facilities, we can get more upgrades. Um, well, they all got locked down. I might throw my wraith at them because I don't really want the wraiths anymore. Which, I mean, that sounds cold, I know, but it's, it's also true. A lot of they don't seem very keen on attacking from this angle. Um, which is another avenue we don't have. But it's like, look at that. We have 
One, two, uh, they, I guess he's mostly crossing there. Oh good, they have cloaked too, I'm so excited about that. Okay, um, Goliaths, tanks, more upgrades, oh, we're out of minerals already. Okay, well, I guess now we start making war on, um... Well, maybe not yet, but soon. We'll start waging war on red. Actually, I think we have enough. Alright, so let us... Let us proceed. Add on complete, start getting more tanks. We're gonna need more supply depots as well. Macro engine's finally up and running. What I would also like to get to is another expansion. But we'll see how that goes. Alright. I knew it! I was like, there's gonna be a lot of stuff here. Man, sometimes it really feels like they're just getting any ground in this is. It, it really an achievement. So what we're gonna do more vultures. Um, set this to nine. We're gonna need a lot of scanners. Um, hold on, what's over here? Got him. Okay. So, and the, the strategy that we're using here is going to be very similar to next mission because we're going to be in a very violent and bloody TBT. Alright, and actually, we, yeah. I just see We shouldn't scout with the Goliaths. Oh boy. Here we go. Because, well, okay, well, that didn't really go over the way I wanted to. We need more units. We're, we're spread a little bit thin right here. And the mines are gonna hopefully get a buffer for the tanks. Holy. Cool. Okay. Well, I think we're being cost efficient, which is good. are done. Oh my goodness, there's so many things going on. Uh, I want that base mostly so that I can expand to it. That's my chief motivation. Alright, now that we have more vultures, this is going to go free. Okay, okay, okay. Tanks, more vultures. Great, great, great. See, now I'm just like making sound effects <laughs> just to fill the air. Uh, not great. All right. Is there anything left in here? Beautiful. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll get another round of lives, Your just in case we do have um, air units. We can fight them off. Yes, sir. Job 
Then another command center. All right, well, the vultures will eventually kill everything, so I'll be it not very quickly. That's okay. Uh, I really prefer aliens from Starcraft 2 than attack. vultures. Vultures is kind of like... Hey, vultures are one of those units where, like, they're very good, but I also think they're pretty technical. Um, and, like, why they're good isn't necessarily inherently obvious. It's like, um... It's like certain moves in fighting games. Some moves in fighting games are very powerful, even though they may not seem very powerful. Like, um, you know, for example, like someone might have like a jab, and it's like, well, the jab just is like a light punch. Like, well, I don't get why that's as strong as it is. It's like, well, the strength of the jab isn't necessarily because you know it's a powerful punch. The strength comes from the fact that like you can throw it out very quickly. And it's hard to get punished for it. And that's kind of like what I feel about the Vulture. Like, you look at it, and off the bat, it doesn't seem like a great unit. It's like, okay, well, it's like it's got 80 HP. Like, it's pretty cheap, and then like, it does single target damage. Like, it's okay, but um, the strengths of the Vulture really do come from, like, it is dirt cheap, which is great. But also the Spider Mines, like. Creating a buffer, a spire mines is really good for controlling area, but also like spire mines can um, really wreak havoc on a lot of units. You might be saying, like, alright, so those are some benefits, but the thing is too, like, vultures do great versus like workers and other like units, and it's really easy to kind of like take that for granted. I was thinking about because, like, you, you know, I throw vultures at tanks, like, they're not going to be phenomenal. But again, like, you can play Spire Mines, and if you get some vultures into their worker line, then yeah, they're going to do pretty good. And if they're so cheap, like, you're going to have a lot of vultures, anyways, and then, like, just a lot of Spire Mines. Like, yes, like, using the vultures here isn't maybe ideal. But it's like, well, of course, like, they're not built to do this, but they have all these other strengths. But, like, you have to have, I think, some game knowledge to, you know, understand, like, like, how good they are. Like, like to the point where some people say, like, Vultures are the best unit in the game. And some people are like, yeah, absolutely, I agree. Uh, they are that strong. For all these reasons I listed, but, like, for a new player or a casual player, it's like, eh, they're fine. And, like, I don't really just like them either because, like, they're just a guy in a bike. Like, they're not cool, like, tanks or guys. I think I went on about this a little bit before. Okay, well, in the meantime, you march with the tank. Whereas, like, you look at a siege tank. Like, siege tanks are good units, but, like, it's pretty obvious why they are strong because, you know... Like, visually, it's like, okay, well, um, you know, they're a tank, which already, like, that looks good. But then, like, you look at their damage, it's like, oh, yeah, this does 85 damage, like, per hit. Another reason, like, look at that, like, they have their speed, so, like, they are able to close, like, distance very easily. Goliaths! They'll happen in time. So, anyways. I could go on, but... It's just funny how that works out. Or, like, in certain games, like... Um... I just... I was trying to think... Oh, hello. Boom. Um, sometimes there are things that like that seem powerful, which are so it's like okay. 
And there's also cases where like things are extremely powerful, or, like, or deceptively powerful, I think is the word I'm looking for. Can you get rid of these tanks on high ground? Yes, we can. Alright, and I think we've, we've cracked this egg. Or even, like, some, like, or things that are boring or also powerful. For example, it's like, oh, like, what if there was an upgrade that's shaved off, um, 10% of the build time of all units in StarCraft? Like, that's not necessarily a very seductive upgrade, because, like, oh, like, it just, you don't see the impact that it has. Like, it's not like, oh, like, it makes the tanks, like, fire, like, I don't know, like Brimstone Rain or something. But it would still be a very good upgrade because you just get more units out. It's just like, oh, it's a number efficiency. Um, which, yeah, like, that's not... Well, for me, like, that's exciting. Like, I like the idea of, like, oh, like, you know, if I do this, I'll be 10% you know, faster, or I'll get, like, 10% more units. Or even, like, the upgrades. Like, upgrades are so important. But... It's easy to overlook them because it's like this is giving me 15 more damage, which is significant. But like you look at this, it's like oh, it's a little three in the corner. Like that's all it represents. But oh, maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe some people are like, "What are you talking about?" Like, yeah, obviously upgrades are the most exciting part of the game. Which like that's an opinion someone can hold. Like, it's absolutely a okay. Well, and I, and I wasn't saying that, like, oh, it's wrong to have these opinions. It's more kind of like, I'm noting... Yeah, okay, that's not work. More just noting that... I, I guess I was just talking about, like, power levels and units and stuff. That's all I had. The Aguirre's, uh... Ground to ground attack is phenomenal. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm being so cool today. Whereas the tanks, oh, man, tanks are something else, man. Man, you guys, what are you doing, Goliaths? Please. I don't get what's up these lives, man. They're they're messed up. Oh well. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for that mission. The best thing guys are depleted. We did it. Superbly done, Captain. Ming's battle cruisers are now effectively powerless. He won't be able to use them against us when we assault his palace. I like how this praise are heaping on to me. This makes me feel good. Victory! Yes! Excuse me. All right. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.